no flagging dog. Been snapping dog. And on Zeta to the feet up, I be zigzagging dog. Alright, man, these folks ain't playing out here. Even though Pooh Shiesty is locked up, allegedly he's still putting pressure on his ops. Now, y'all know his, one of his ops, Slime Mo. You know what I mean? Mo Slime on me. Somebody just today put out this folks' educational purpose, his location, bruh. They got the Addy, and, and they doing a whole lot. Hold on, I'm about to show y'all something. Not the Addy, but I'm about to show y'all something right quick. Hold on. Um, I'm going to show y'all. Now, this is him right here. You know what I mean? He responded to it. You know, like, Pooh Shiesty got his little, you know, minions out here, bro. I don't know how you pronounce that. Educational purpose. You know, I'm, I can't show something on that picture because he had the Drake go up on there. But, you know what I mean? This dude over here, most line, this is one of Pooh Shiesty's ops. Niggas already giving his addies, his location is being sent everywhere, and it ain't looking good. And most of y'all who who in the end nows and the no nos, you know who is this op and what his op is doing. I ain't gonna get into all that. Hold on, let me pause that to show you about how they um most slime. Hold on. Somebody told him, I know you educational purpose at Jennifer Meadows. I just wanna make sure y'all can see it in here. They said, I know you at Jennifer Meadows. And then, you know, Mo Slime told him to pull up. Effing goofy, you know what I mean? So, it's deep now, bro. Like, it's... We know niggas ridiculed Pooh Shiesty when his brother died. Folks and them only like gossip. So, everybody started saying, oh, he got shot, this and that. But I did remember when Pooh Shiesty was talking about his brother. It's kind of sick. So, I knew he was bedridden in the hospital. I was like, the only thing I could think about, he died of an illness. But everybody started turning. Like, even his ops started you know what i mean his ops started parading like they the ones who did it like I, I mean young and ace is right about at least one thing i agree with young and ace bro it's like he said the whole city of jacksonville started claiming they the ones who killed his brother when his brother died and i remembered that you know i'm gonna fall back from that i ain't gonna name names even if we in the no no and no what the, but I did remember that part, and I started looking at every state, every city. It's like, yeah, when a nigga die, everybody and their mama take claims. It's like when my dog, FBG Duck, got killed. You know, everybody started saying they the ones who did it and making songs and this. Bro, you, you fall back to the point, like, what type of lame nigga takes false credit for a body? Number one, it's sad when you lose somebody in that type of manner anyways. But who's lame enough to take credit so... It's, it's a lot of deep things hidden behind it. We know Pooh Shiesty case. Miami don't want to let this nigga out, bro. Miami want to make it a clear example out of Pooh Shiesty. They already put, the, allegedly, they put pressure on one of the witness in the second case that he had in Miami, King of Diamonds situation. We thought that security was going to be, he basically was going to get Pooh Shiesty damn near life in Miami. Because, you know, it's minimum 20 years. So, I'm thinking if this nigga go to court, it's a wrap for Pooh Shiesty, but... I, I had a feeling, I was like, the only way they could win if they apply pressure behind the scenes on this nigga. And man, did they, did they have pressure on Cuz? So he recanted his statements and was like, he took some medicine. <laughs> this nigga say he took some medicine, bro. You can't fake this at all, gang. When a nigga say he took some medicine, I already knew what that is, bro. Folks that I'm done scared the hell out you. And they probably possibly gave you a bag too, you know what I mean? But shit, like. Recanted his statement, Pooh Shiesty is, you know, doing his thing and thinking he coming home and they're like, nah, how the hell he got two shooting incidents in, in one area, which is Miami, back to back, one in 2020 of December or November and one all the way a couple of months ago, bro. So they not, they not playing with that. It's like a dude who's always seemed to find himself in a situation like that. Now, Pooh Shiesty is still the money, man. He's still getting what he got to get for the team. And, and statements gotta be made in the street. So if you are a op, just cause one of the head honchos who you beefing with get locked up, nigga, don't fall back thinking everything is cool now. Oh yeah, gang gang locked up. Oh, I'm cool, I'm out here, I'm in the club. I'm... But gang gang and them got family in them. They got big bro in them. Bro got homies and homies got homies. You know, girlfriends got girlfriends and girlfriends got little cousins in them. And you don't know which chicken head is dating your partners in them. Or which chicken head you dating precisely? When a nigga tell you you at such and such Meadows Avenues, my nigga, I know you can't lie, bro. When dudes get your location, I'm not acting like niggas are scared, but 
Like when I know when a nigga told me my Addy before my heart don't get scared, but it goes, all right, I'm gonna have to war up and be war ready because that's my location. That's where my loved ones reside at. You know, that's my comfort zone. That's where, you know, a nigga can ca catch me lacking. So I gotta be war ready. And to see when a nigga be like pulled up and all that, I I'm that type of bravado because I got them heaters educational purpose over here. So I do be feeling like that. But then again, I don't because even if I defend my fam family, why put them through that type of situation? You know what I mean? So my nigga, this nigga Pooh Shasti, um, Mo Slime, he got more money than you, gang. At the end of the day, allegedly, these niggas got more money than you. Your own friends would, bro, I seen this game already, bro. Your own friends would twist and, and, and unlock that black door, bro. Like, I'm talking about put cement on that hole so it can never be locked no more, bro. That back door is wide open, bro. Wide open, my nigga. So, it, it's crazy to me when niggas don't watch who they beefing with, bro. Like, like with the Honeycomb Brazy, a lot of his ops was trying to get him out the way. They, they don't want to see this nigga get the real, real bag. I mean, he getting some type of bag, but he ain't getting that poo shiesty bag yet. He ain't getting that money bag, yo, bag yet. You know, no disrespect to Jay Prince and them. Shout out to Jay Prince and rap a lot and them Texas guys down in Houston and all of Texas. But I'm just letting you know what it is, bro. If you ain't getting that type of bag yet, limit your beefs, my nigga. I thought you post the beef and square up when when all the military forces organized and you got your resource in the right way. That's when you go to war, my nigga. But if you ain't ready for it, you supposed to stick to the checkers, my nigga. How, this this is chess over here. The big boy table. Big boy table, my nigga. Like, what is you doing out here? So, most slime, yeah, they got the Addy, they got the location. Shit is looking spooky out here. Niggas don't know what to do. Like, niggas only know how to revert to being hood niggas. You know, I'm the same way. Like, if a nigga show me my Addy, I'm gonna be like, then pull up, goofy. I'll, I'll say some shit like what most slime just said to all his other ops. You know what I mean? But in real life, in reality, when folks in them come with the drills, you know what I mean? When them drills come through, whoo. Folks don't know how to act, bro. Them hammers get the blasts, but MC hammers turn you them dirty Dianas. I ain't gonna get into that. Most folks know what I meant by there. So, yeah, be careful, bro. Memphis is very treacherous out there too, bro. Like Memphis remind me of my my neighborhood of Broward, my nigga. Like Memphis. Oh, they got to the get down there. And I done been there before, slide, slide through there, seen what it was like. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going down there. So I give much respect to a fool who can hop in there and just get the beefing like that. My nigga, you got to just last and have longevity, bro. A lot of this is kind of weird, bro. Hold on, StreamYard is from we long. Okay, I just got a crazy message just now, but... <laughs> My nigga, but and speaking of message, that's what I mean, bro. Folks will give you some wild messages and you supposed to move the right way. Don't just take it to social media because you know they're going to take it to social media regardless. And you don't ain't no telling who else will pop up in your crib like that, bro. It don't matter how much sticks you got in the crib and blickies you got up in there. And I don't care if it's a Drake or, or a Smith & Wesson, bro, or whatever brand it is, my nigga. Niggas come war ready. You military structured up. You got to know what it is. Look, man, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang. Truly mean that. Do no flagging, dog. Been snapping, dog. And on Zeta to the feeder, I be zigzagging, dog.